showing you how to fix the uh, main script execution failed um, error that some of y'all are receiving with uh, jailbroken 1.1.3. Um, this usually comes from not updating your installer before you jailbreak it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to uh, fix that. First thing you want to do, if you don't have um, this program installed called Putty, you'd want to install that. Um, what I would suggest doing is uh, go into your, uh, my computer, then your uh, hard drive, and then go into um, program files, and then right click new folder and then uh, name that new folder putty p-u-t-t-y and then uh, go to my new site ipodtouch.net and uh, download putty and uh, download it into that new folder you just created I'm gonna click save so I'm gonna go to my computer and then uh, my hard drive the C drive program files and then uh, putty and save it in there. The uh, reason you'd want to do that is if, uh, if you put it in that folder I'm going to close that. You can go into your uh, WinSCP and you can actually launch putty through WinSCP. Um, if you don't know how to use or set up WinSCP. Uh, you can watch my video on that. Um, cause most of the time that you're working in WinSCP is when you're going to be using PuTTY. And to launch PuTTY from within uh, WinSCP, you just click on this icon. This could tell you, do you want to run it? Yes. And that's what it looks like. It'll give you this error the first time. Well, not error, but a message. When you first open it, just click yes. You can see it already has your name. Username is root, and the password is Alpine. Uh, Alpine, just like in uh, WinSCP. And as you can see, when I was typing, it didn't look like anything was being entered, but it it does. Just uh, type in the password and hit enter. Okay, now what you're gonna want to do is um, you're gonna want to run these series of commands. Um, I'll have this listed in the about section. So all you gotta do is just copy and paste them. And just do each one at a time. So just highlight it, copy, and go back into PuTTY. And to paste in PuTTY, all you do is right click. And then we'll do enter. Go to the next one. And essentially what you're doing here is uh, replacing your current uh, version of installer with the uh, newest version. That's why you're getting that weird error. Okay, that last command right there was actually downloading the uh, new installer. And this next one, we'll run it. So we'll copy, paste, enter. And we'll go back. This next one's going to be to unzip that zip folder. Um, this is pretty easy, just a couple of commands that you got to copy and paste. So you can see it uh, unzipped that uh, folder. Um, but that's the reason why uh, you're getting that error. You just have an old version of installer that's not working. And what this is going to do is just uh, download it, unzip it, install it, and then also give it the uh, proper permissions so it uh, will uh, execute fine for you. And so after you run that last command, you can just close it. Are you sure you want to close? Yes. Go back to uh, Installer. Now I'll try to just install something real quick to show you that it's working. Uh, I'll go with any assets. Good easy one. As you can see it's uh, downloading just fine now. That's it. It fixes the uh, main script execution failed uh, error. And there's an ES. Um, one thing is uh, when you use WinSCP, obviously make sure that your iPod's plugged in and also ensure that you have uh, open SSH installed.
or some form of SSH installed. Uh, but don't forget to check out my new website, iPodTouched.net.